day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, today we're going to create a kinetic coaster. I need you to, of course, start by choosing 3D Design. I like to remind you to start by renaming it. I'm going to type kinetic coaster, and I'm going to put my name after it if you're using this in a classroom. That way you can keep track of whose is whose. Friends, the first part we're going to use is called the soft box. Hit that search, type soft, and bingo, it will appear. When you bring it out, we're going to type in some magical numbers. I'm going to tell you 100. 100. Z is only going to be 4 because I'm cutting mine out of cardboard. If you're using a different amount of wood, like 3 millimeter plywood, you could change that. I'm going to make the wall 50 so that it turns into one solid piece. Friends, we use this because it gives me these awesome corners right here. This is going to be our base design, but we are going to have a spinning piece that goes inside this, so it'll be like a sandwich. So we need to cut out the corners. We're going to do that with the cylinder. When you bring out the whole cylinder, start by making the sides 64. Let's change some measurements really quick. We need it to be 60 on this side, and I want it to be 10 on this side. I'm going to take this shape and do L for a line, and I want to put it right on this edge, and I want to put it right in the middle. Friends, we're going to move it out. Remember, it was 10, so we're going to go 5 out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then I'm going to do Control D, Shift Select, press L for a line. Let's move it to the other side, and then once again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to move it out. Let's use Shift Select to grab those two. Choose Control D and then use the rotate handle. Once again, if you go Shift Rotate, it does 45 degrees at a time, and boom, you have got the stock design built. Let's select those pieces and do Control G so you can see how this is going to give you the ability to spin the piece that's inside. I'm going to put a pin in the middle and I'm going to use straws for my pins. Once again, I've got the cylinder hole, 64 sides. I'm going to shift stretch it, but then the number I want for my straws is 6 millimeters. I'm going to take that, once again press L for a line and hit center and center. I'm going to do control G to group that right now. Friends, now that we've got this starter part, I'm going to move it off to the side and we're going to build the gear. To build the gear, I need you to search. We're going to type gear. We want to find the basic one right here. Friends, when the gear lands, I want you to make the inner radius 26. I want you to make the outer radius 30. And then I want the teeth to be as far as it'll stretch. So I'm going all the way to 30. And the height of the teeth, I want that to be 4. And press enter. Now this entire piece needs to stick out. So hold down shift and stretch it crazy large. And the number we want is 99 and press enter. We do also want to make the height four just so it matches the cardboard. Notice this will sit inside here, but you'll be able to easily grab those gears. Let's quickly cut the hole out of this by bringing in a whole cylinder. Once again, we will stretch it to crazyville and then change it to size six so it matches our straw. If you're using a different material, you can choose that. I do want the sides to be 64, and then let's select those two. I'm gonna hit L for a line, make the orange one the boss, and choose center, center, and group. Friends, the fun part of these kinetic coasters is the cutout. I need you to bring out a cylinder. We're gonna do a real simple one, and then you can explore making cooler ones on your own. We're going to change this number to 25 and press enter. I'm going to tell you to change this to 12 and press enter. And we're going to move it out into the shape. I'm going to tell you to click control D and let's do shift nudge to get that across. So there's a gap in between them. Now friends, we're going to shift select those and we're going to do control G to group them. Select that entire pair of parts. Choose the letter L, make the orange one the boss and make sure it's centered and centered. So we're making sure our design fits and there's a gap. Now here comes the cool part. I want you to do control D. I want you to hold shift and I want you to rotate 45 degrees. Because we're holding shift, that only takes one click. Then make sure you don't touch anything else and do control D again and again. 
friends that's our awesome pattern notice because there is orange space in between it's going to cut those out but it will not mess up the whole design real quickly i'm going to hide this orange piece and we need to use this again so i'm going to do Control d i'm also going to do Control g so it's a group and let's move that new group up here I'm going to real quickly select all these and do control G as well. Now, if we hit show all, let's make sure they're aligned. I'm going to select the two of them, press L for align, and we want center and center and group. Friends, there is the inside of our awesome kinetic coaster. Now we need to do this piece right here. Once again, L for align, and we want center and center and group. We use this piece twice, so let's do Control D and move it over here. This design is almost larger than my Tinkercad build area, so I'm going to change this to 400 by 400, which is the size of my laser cutter. Once again, when you click up here, then it becomes permanent. Friends, real quickly, I'm going to show you how this is going to work. These are all going to get cut, and then if we do L for a line, these are going to line up just like this. And then this will be raised up on top, so one, two, three, four millimeters up. You can see that's floating nice, but we need something here to keep them from touching. Friends, we're going to build that part super fast with the soft box. Once again, type soft. When it shows up, we're going to bring it out. I'm going to tell you that the numbers we're going to type are 25 and 25. And just because it looks smarter, you can put a four. And then we're going to fill it in with 15. That'll make sure it fits in. And then I'm going to show you how we're going to trim it. Watch this. If we select those two places, do L for a line. We want to bring it right to this corner right here and right to this corner right here. You can see it's going to run into that part. So we are going to just trim it with a hole. I'm going to tell you to go back and grab a square turn it into a rectangle make sure you stretch it so it's long enough and let's just rotate it to 45 degrees and find that perfect corner where it fits on those grooves notice I am just nudging it with my point one and that's gonna be a pretty darn slick cut now I can click on those two pieces so I'm gonna hide this one and then I've just got those two selected control G and after a moment, you have got the part that's going to be in that place. I'm going to real quickly put the work plane on top of that shape. And if we hit D for drop, it will be on top just like they will be. There will be four of them. And then when we're done, we'll have a cool little coaster that can spin. How fun is that? Friends, we do need four of those. So I'm going to now hit D to drop that back down to the workplace for cutting. I'm going to move it out with the nudge. Let's set it back to one millimeter for placement. Use my arrow keys to push it out where I want. And then I'm going to do Control D and nudge that across. If I'm going to be real smart, I can use my cardboard wiser by flipping it and flipping it. Notice now it'll nudge right over beside that. I do need to move them down. So I'll select the two of them, move them down, and then once again, Control D, Shift Nudge to move that across so it is ready. And then, of course, I need to do D to drop this back to the ground and once again, Shift Nudge it to get it to where we can work with it as well. A couple down nudges, a couple over nudges, and now it is ready to send to the laser cutter. The way my cardboard lines up, I'm actually going to set it up like this, though. Shift Nudge and shift nudge to get these all over here. That is a better use of my cardboard. And I'm gonna put these up right here in this gap as well. Let's do F to fit view and see just how close in there we can get those. That's pretty darn sweet. Friends, there you have it, a Tinkercad Kinetic Coaster. How cool is that? If you're gonna send it to a laser cutter, you do need to choose export, and we use the SVG for laser cutting. I always put mine in my laser cutting folder for later use. Friends, I hope you had an absolute blast with these steps and see that there are lots of possibilities for you to make yours even more incredible. Friends, of course, I do wanna remind you there will be a second video where I show this being cut and assembled. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, Please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn. 
about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.